I'm Dr. Clayton Greenaway with healthcareforpets.com and we're answering questions this morning. Michelle has sent one in and it says, my veterinarian told me that my dog has bladder stones. Do I have to do the surgery to remove them or can he live with them the rest of his life? He's only five years old. Uh, this is uh, a good question. Um, I, I like the way she says, my veterinarian told me that my dog has bladder stones. I always like to show people the x-ray of the bladder stone so they really have a concept of it. And if your veterinarian does an x-ray, you should really take a look at it because it lets you understand exactly what's going on. But bladder stones are an interesting problem. So obviously your veterinarian can see these stones in the bladder. And I suppose from the question, if she's asking, can he live with them forever? She's probably not seen any problems related to this. And we do see this sometimes where we actually find stones incidentally when we're doing x-rays for other things. And so stones in the bladder, they can bounce around, they can irritate the bladder, they can make your dog pee more often, small volumes, that's called polacuria because the bladder hurts. So when they start to pee, it hurts. So they stop uh, because they tense up. So that's a symptom of also infection uh, and inflammation from the stones. Infection can come along with the stones because the bacteria can live on the stones and that can be a problem. Giving them antibiotics may not be able to reach that bacteria so sometimes you have the symptoms come back and come back. People can think there are recurrent infections but it's actually stones. The next thing is, is the concern I have is it's a male dog and male dogs have more problems with getting blocked. So stones can fall into the urethra and block them. And in that case, and when I see it, it's an emergency. A dog can die very easily from that, given a day or two. So you're gonna have to take immediate action if something like that happens and your dog is not producing urine if you know that there's stones there. If that happens, now you're in crisis. So you might end up at an emergency clinic. It might be really expensive to deal with the problem before you even get to the surgery of removing the stones. So once you know there's stones there, how do you deal with them? Well, you can surgically remove them, but first what you wanna to try to figure out is what type of stone it is. And there's about four types of stones. Um, you can find the crystals when you do a urinalysis and that should tell you about the stone. Most of them will shed crystals. So you find out what type of stone it is and some of them can be mixed stones, so they don't all have to be of one kind, but there are foods that can actually dissolve certain stones and the most common one is called struvite, and a food can change the acidity level of the urine, dissolve the stone, and you're okay there. But another very common stone that some breeds are really prone to creating is cal called calcium oxalate. And those ones typically do not dissolve whatsoever, and they have to be removed surgically. What I think Michelle needs to think about in this uh, question is whether she wants to take control of this issue. The dog is probably a little bit uncomfortable, but she's not noticing it, and dogs are pretty stoic. The problem is, is it's a ticking time bomb. If that stone falls into the urethra, it's gonna be a lot more expensive to deal with that problem, and the dog's gonna go through a lot more discomfort and a lot more trauma getting that solved than if she is proactive and does the surgery to remove them. First, she should figure out what stones they are, see if they're dissolvable, take another x-ray after a diet to see if they have dissolved, and then address them surgically if they're not. So hopefully that helps. You let us know how things go and good luck with it. Keep those questions coming to healthcareforpets.com where we're dedicated to your pet's health.